Alright, I have no idea how well an RPG Maker 2000 game will work on my Windows 10 computer. So I figured this game would be a good test of that. Plus I might as well see how similar it is to Liar Genie. New game. Presented by Skyscraper Project, aka Uda. Some kind of slime thing on the floor. This world is built upon the mercy of order. If order is not obeyed, the world comes to nothing. Do those slimes actually do anything? This kind of sit there. Maybe they're just NPCs. And suddenly time moves really quickly. Understood? Do you understand? You do not understand, and that is why you died. Fragment was lost, she has neither past nor future. Can I save anywhere, or just at specific spots? Looks like maybe, maybe I can save by talking to that letter? I don't know. Land of Time, Alice's Room. Oh, there is a manual. I remember the weak status effect. Blind hit rate lowered. Dizzy, unable to recover LP. Invert, turn gauge, and ECs emptied. Deaf, instant death. Oh no. Inst there's actually instant death type moves here? LP, hit zero and you get sent back. Psy power, improves attacks and healing. Agility, increases turn gauge speed. Is there no defense point in this game? Just hit points and power and speed. Ways to heal. Use healing skills or item. Healing skills are battle only. Slight recovery after each battle. All heal while walking around. Full recovery sleeping at home. Full recovery talking to Tiska. Two main way to learn skills. Use a skill a certain number of times. Win fights with low LP. Each skill has various criteria for learning it. Some are tricky, so keep trying things. Yeah, there's a- fortunately there's a guide for that. Human girl living in Shadling Town. One of the only two humans in the land of time. That's not a whole lot of humans. Halves damage taken. LP minus 10% but escapes the battle. EC minus 1 inflict damage. All skills, huh? Oh, I, looks like I can't save anywhere. My current stats. All I have are shock and guard, and... I might as well equip flee just in case. One, two, three, four, five. I only get five skills, despite being able to learn so many. No accessory. I have to spend force to increase my points. Directly, I could stat grind a lot, but is there, a, like, a limit to it? Is there any way to run fast in this game, or am I just stuck at the speed forever? Oh, I see. If I hold down the confirm key, I can run. Is this actually... Yeah, I should have paid more attention to the read me. Shadeville Magazine. Read. Open menu with escape. You can hold Z to dash. I prefer to use X for menu and cancel, though. Macaroni info, hut renovation, skill books, and uh, some other stuff. 
It's always reading season. Come to Macaroni. Word from Alice. Z uh, is she a journalist? We're from Tiska Hud? No, no, I'm a guy, really. Nope, nope. Wait a minute, these are all random. Pay attention, will you? That's not a comedy, it's a tragedy. Here, Cole is starting really catching on the land of life. Sounds like it's some fad. Land of life? I wonder. This, then, is there. Will they also mention anything related to. Related to Liar Genie? Sleep full of recover. Oh, just a bunch of hints and lore. Not a pen, that's an apple. Nope, no. Huh. Oh, morning, Alice. They're all NPCs, so how do I tell if one's hostile or not? They all look the same. Hey, Alice, are you here? If you go to the time core right now, you can see something neat. Better be quick so you don't miss it. Land of Time, Shadling Town. Finally, some freedom. We better get ready to go, too. Still getting the shop ready, hun. Come by in a little bit. Yo, Alice. Tisco is running by here all hurried like. If you wanna run too, just hold down the Z key. Oh, now what did Tisco do? That blundering warden. Really now, don't you think you'd do a better job at this point? I really wish I didn't use a Z key for running. It's kind of awkward. Anything you're not sure about, check the dictionary in the menu. Might be good to take a look around the info hut, too. This is Shadling Town. Not town size, but this is Shadling Town nonetheless. Shadlings are, of course, what you call gu the guys like us. Okay. Time core, no, I want to ex look around the town a bit more first. Flowers bloom in the land of time too, but they never will. Flowers and fruit remain beautiful for a lifetime. What kind of universe does this take place in? Seriously. This house looks like I can go f into it. Macaroni Info Hut. Hello! This is Macaroni Info Hut. Read around all you like. It's supposed to be tutorial stuff. Healing skills. Use garden battles certain numbers of times. Something shield. Use... Use certain, these skills certain number of times. Alright, it's all rubbed away. This is all covered in the download web pages guide section. Do nothing for those dying girls. Tea time in the early afternoon. Thank you of you as I sip my cup. Ah. Time to set out on an adventure. I witnessed a strange death. From infant to newborn to embryo, all the way to fertilized egg and then gone. A man who lost his life at the end of restoring his youth. Rare interesting you think about it. See if he's getting bored of watching the Great Clock. Perfect timing. I'll catch up and tell him about it. And there's something to this side too, or not? Oh, hey, check this out. As long as you're standing on top of this bench, you'll automatically face downwards. That's pretty neat. What the heck is down here? What? They'll be born sooner, our precious child. Ho oh, oh, ho, oh. ho ho. Patience, body, and mind was ruined, and so madness took them. 
They're resorting to drastic measures. We'll Biff, hold a moment. Please wait. I should probably run. Seriously, what the hell is going on back there? It's like a horror game. Is this sealing up some kind of super boss? Duh. Okay, I guess I better head on north then. Since this town is rather small. Is, there, is this a dungeon area where I can get into fights? I don't know. This door is locked. Even with all this red carpet. Oh, automatically go up the stairs. I was wondering how they'd handle that. Nope, this isn't going to work. I have to fix it from the inside. Glenn, I'll let you... Ah! Auto-scrolling. Good morning, Alice. Heh, <laughs> kind of a problem here. The hands are gone. The clock hands went missing. Clock won't work without any hands. Which means the area it governs. The whole land of life is at a complete standstill. The land of life must... Uh, and, well, I guess Mo Morte Moses must be the land of the dead. Because you were slacking off, Natch. Eh. Anyway. If we just get the hands back, I can get the clock going. I'll have, a lot, uh, have to not only make repairs, but search for the hands, so... Alice, you'll be fine waiting in Shadling Town until it's fixed, right? Um, What kind of choice is this? Nope and nope nope. Nope nope. <laughs> I don't, the, the guide I don't think mentions what nope nope is supposed to do. And it's not like it matters, because it seems to be the same thing anyway, right? Hmm. Boy. Alice is at that iffy rebellious age. Don't waste your breath. Yeah, I don't see anything here about nope, no bird, and it being a, some kind of funny quote or something. But listen here, Alice. That room goes to the land of life. Most dangerous place you could be now. Gonna hurt if you go headlong in. So just think about it, alright? Just think about it. Surely you mean don't go, right? There will be bad guys who will be all agrar and attack you, Alice! Come back to hurt. Just get to repairing already. I was scrolling. Right. Lost Fragment, Stencil Girl, Skyscraper Project. So, um, what do I do? Siska here does all the repairs. We Shadelings can't work on the clock, of course. Go fix the foundations, search for the clock hands, and catch the wandering Shadelings. Man, when does it end? What? Then what the heck is that area to the right? I'm still in time core, so where are you guys supposed to be? One of the warden's purposes is to gather the hand fragments. Destroy the cogs and bring back the fragments. But it doesn't always go so well. Who here is a virtual space created to teach you how to search for the land of life? Like a tutorial, you know? Just knock if you're interested. And if you want to know about battles, ask the shadeling over to the right. Want to know about battles? Tell me. Alright, I'll teach you. First, let's talk equipment. 
Now in battles, of course, you've got to attack, defend items and all that. But you need to equip those actions beforehand. Open the skill equip menu. Equip shocking guard and talk to me again. Okay, skills unequipped. Okay. Great, let's begin. Good luck. Mr. Shayling, first let's see what's on screen. Here's your LP, Alice. When it goes down from enemy attacks and when it hits z in zero, you get sent back. No error penalty, so won't lose force or anything. These are EC emotion crystals. You get one each turn. Use these to do things like attack foes or heal yourself. They go to zero when the fight's over, so use them while you've got them. This... These are the move gauges. Fighters can act once they fill up. The gauge fills up faster the higher your agility stack. Next I'll explain what happens once your gauge fills. Gauge full, your turn, you've got one EC too. You can use shock and guard which we equipped earlier. Try out guard. What if I just try shock right now against his orders? Let's do that. Just watch. Okay, I guess he won't let me progress until I use guard. You suck another EC. You can use guard or items to stock on, up on ECs, which is good for skills that take two or more. The items got invisible ECs too, and they can guard to stock up. In other words, I need to keep track of how much EC an enemy has all the time, even if I have to do it write it on a piece of paper. To keep guarding, watch out. Now defeat me with an attack. Force points earned 7, turns taken free. That's all I have to say on battles, thanks for listening. Here's a present for your trouble. Spirit Born. Hope I could help you on your adventure, Alice. LP minus 5. In other words, it doesn't... Oh man. In other words, this b basically will not uh, will not consume. Maybe it doesn't in consume my EP, but, but instead consumes my hit points as kind of a drawback, huh? Oh no! Sounds kind of dangerous. Okay. May there be something here about time primer. Enter. Uh, tutorials are usually slow but necessary, right? Welcome to the time primer. No, I'm not there. I'm watching from the time core. This is a virtual training area made for time wardens. The land of life is real dangerous when time stopped, you see. If you want to search it, you'd better study up here. Up for it, then walk forward. Time stuff worlds have these impurities running about, called time scars. They're bad guys who will hurt you, so beat them up when you find them. But we keep an eye on your LP. If it gets real low, you'll be better off running to get last longer. But running will also consume LP. Ah, it's kind of high pitched. So these are time scars? That's a Scarlet Cog. Scarlet Cogs use the hand's power to keep creating time scars. So it's a den of monsters, say. Apparently it's a Time Warden's job to break these and get the hands back. By the way, you have to break all blue cogs before you can get this one. There are some in this area, so take a look around. 
What about the- this is a green cog, though. Ignore if you like, there's no problem, but break them and you'll get nice prizes like items in Force. Same as the other cogs, time scars will get in your way, so be careful with them. Destroy! Melted Scar! Oh crap, it can heal. Well, that wasn't too powerful. I repost seed times two. Those repost seeds are consumables. Once you get one of them, you can buy more in Shadling Town. Oh, that's nice. It's maybe good to check back in. Oh shit! Random encounter! I didn't realize- I thought they were all touch encounters only. Okay, seems I recovered it, but... Hmm... I see it'll increase- Oh no! The others increased in cost too! This is bad. I mean, he says to check back in town, so maybe I should leave this area for now. I can always go back later, right? Yeah. Fortunately, it doesn't look like I'll be attacked if I'm in a town area like this one. Is this the shop? Come on in. Welcome to Dreamlings. What do you sell? At Dreamlings, you can trade force for items you've picked up before. Come by on by any time you want more of an item. I see- Whoa, these are expensive. Heals wounds 50. Hmm. Yeah. I'm gonna have to play it safe. And not buy any yet. Okay, they, they, so the Shade Links all went to there to the land of life? Even with those time scars around? Oh man. Okay. Anything new from you NPCs? Uh, seriously, how'd this happen? I do? Well, we raised some flowers. Plant some seeds in that bed here and wait for them to ripen. And harvest your crops, so give it a try. Repost seed. That seeds on me. Try playing it in this flower bed. Okay. And this is a hospital. I should probably not go there yet. They can gr grow from power release from time scars. In other words, just ba fight a bunch of battles until they grow. I speak, of course, of battles. How much force do you get will also affect how it blooms. Okay, back to the tutorial area, until I can get a better handle on this game. Okay, time primer. Does the green one respawn though? The green cog? Uh, I guess not. I already fought this one before, be right back. I see a cog. 
That's a blue cog. Those, these blue cogs seem to go on and amplify the power of the Scarlet Cog. Point is, you definitely gotta destroy these as you explore. A slightly tougher scar time scar will get in the way of destroying it, so be prepared for that. If you're not sure, use some force to increase your stats. Hmm, I have quite... Huh. Let's see if I'm ready for this one. This one actually looks kind of tough. Ow. Okay, if it guards, I should guard. Force points earned a lot. Okay. That hurt a lot, though. Holy shit. <sighs> and I have to... To get Brain Blue, I have to use Shock 25 times. That's gonna take a while, huh? Hmm. I have to use Guard five times as well to get a healing move. Damn, I recovered LP too slowly. Okay, what's in here? Whoa. Don't get in my way, you little, little bee thing. Hey ya! Oh wow. If I had put one more into attack, I could have one shot at it. And I... Okay, there's the cog, but... Am I ready for it? Hmm. Please tell me I'm good. Oh, sh it's the same thing. I already know this sequence to being this... or not. That's strange. I thought I was gonna guard for its special. Two can play that game. Okay, I won. With that, the red one is exposed. But it's- I feel like that one's going to be really tough. Hey, that Scarlet Cog turned blue. So now you can go where you couldn't before. Yeah, but it sure took a lot out of me, didn't it? Okay, I need to get it to 30 if I want to learn the healing skill. Hmm, that could take a while. Oh. One hit kill. Shit. Okay. Just a little bit more. Be right back. Okay, let's see how strong this one is. Once you bring the Scarlet Cog, well, although it's blue now, you'll get back a hand fragment. This is a primer, sir. Ain't one, so I guess I'll give you a present instead. This last scar's the toughest one. Get ready before you fight it. Pretty fast. Not as fast as me, but I'm a little worried. Hmm. Or us. Uh, Uh oh. Guard!
Okay, shock! Spirit Thorn! Oh shit! Ha! Huh. Brain Blue! Yes! What's a Brain Blue? How much does it cost me? Okay! This one's even stronger than Spirit Thorn. But it still costs me LP, which means I need to keep increasing my LP via the skill sys uh, stat system. It has each one has a damage rank, I believe. Spearthorn is not very good because it's the same rank as Shock. So I should probably replace it with Brain Blue then. More power. Repost C is useful if I'm running low on EC, huh? Hmm. But I want to keep guard because, you know, it's just... Uh, who knows when the enemy's gonna unleash their ultimate move, right? I mean, that thing just sent me to one hit point because of my carelessness. That's scary. That's the end of Primer. Good stuff. Alright, here's her present. Coral Hairpin! The, my first accessory! If the Warden seems busy, go and help him out. Right, let's take you back. Okay, that was somewhat successful. Now to equip my accessory. Plus 8 life! Yes! Actually, it's plus 25%, which means, in a way, it actually kind of increases my LP growth. Which I desperately need, because I have skills that consume my LP. Self-esteem. Weird. What's that supposed to mean, though? Is that the name of the effect? Hmm. Okay. Okay, let's see uh, my flowers. Pleasure fruit. What is a pleasure fruit? Oh, it heals even more. Nice. Uh, it only works on that one, huh? No words, I have to get more of those repost seeds in order to get more pleasure fruits. Hmm. Thanks for tuning in. If you enjoyed the tutorial area, please leave a like and subscribe.